because I'm curious if I remember to unmute my mic. Yep, that I. Uh, that's why. That's why <laughs> you you wait a bit while before, while starting streams to make sure everything's going up. But yeah, as I was saying, just you take a moment to look at the details on the suit, like the patch up holes, the burlap. Your boots look nice. Looks sturdy. At least in the uh, scout. If it's a camera. Yeah. Well, anyway. Let's see here. Gosh, I looked through the, uh, I did quite a bit. Yeah, last up. Yeah, okay. The last stream when I put it up, I named it the Will of Time, because oh boy, we certainly found a Will. Okay, that's the green. Quant Moon. Quant Moon. Or Pro Cannon. Ocean Core. Okay, that makes sense. All right, so we found. So last time, <laughs> hi, Jazz. Just saw your chat and yeah, or your message in chat. But yeah, last time, Ashwin Project is amazing, and we uncovered everything related to this mystery. And there's, I was just given the slightest offense that there's like four total big mysteries, and there are about four. And, you know, first one being Ash Twin, second one, Quantum Moon, third is probably the Orbital Pro Cannon, fourth, probably the Vessel, and I'm guessing the fifth is probably, like, I don't, this probably ties into something, probably the Interloper slash Dark Bramble, that's what I'm gonna assume that that's for, because the Dark Bramble's bizarre. And this is why is it? Yep. Hanging City. Yeah, there's more to be found there. Old Settlement. Now I worked together to recall an eye-shaped signal they encountered while aboard the vessel. The signal was somehow older than the universe itself. And they called the signal the Eye of the Universe. Okay. Yeah, that's probably... Let's be... Go to space. Because... <laughs> Happens. Oh, it's a bonus thing? Okay. Go to space. Kiss aliens. Hell yeah. What's up, Sad Dolphin? And also, we found some fate about the vessel and the escape pods of a mural of the Nomai vessel encountering a signal. A Meryl Dark Bramble ensnaring the Nomai vessel after it tried to warp to the signal. Which I'm guessing, now that I think about it, was probably when the Quantum Moon was orbiting around Dark Bramble. From, you know, when they came to the solar system from, you know, outside of it. They were like, oh, they're like, oh, let's warp to it, and got ensnared. Though the idea of the Dark Bramble actively ensnaring something is uh, terrifying, and I hate, I hate that. I despise that idea, but I, I'll, I'll get into that in a second. And yeah, mural of the three escape pods, one of which is still in the Dark Bramble. Yep. The Nomai warped to the solar system and spaceship called the Vessel. They were attempting to follow a signal from the Eye of the Universe. The Vessel crashed somewhere in Dark Bramble, and I think I've seen it. And actually, before, yeah, I was talking about going to Old Haunts. <laughs> old Haunts, uh, in the tweet I sent about this, or about this stream. But yeah. Yeah. I, I think I now know one I want to check out. Let's see here. I keep 
depending what direction it is. But I know it's not that far. I forgot there's a oh that's not a I was about to say that's a road, but no, that's just the water. Here. 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 You. 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 My spacesuit. You. Vamp on time? Oh, not yet. River Road. What are rivers but roads for fish? I mean, you're not wrong. But also, you. You extra dimensional son of a bitch. Yeah. Right, like... Huh. Yeah, there's a tree growing in the mouth of that thing. And... Okay, and it's stuck. Alright. Let's... Uh, it's the type of trees that the... I was about to call them homies, which, I mean, valid, but, aha, uh -huh. it's the kind of trees that grow on timber hearth, and there's a campfire that you can see. Interesting enough, the, the angler bones seem to be, like, in in its mouth, there seems to be a seed. Like this one. And yeah, I got stuck. I'm, I'm gonna send one more in there. Try not to take too many pictures for the noise, but... Yeah. It looks just like the seed we're looking at here, but it grew inside of the skeleton. Which, a part of me wonders, is that the core of the Dark Bramble? And yeah, this Bramble Flower sure is making the scout take the same angle every time. No, you're right. It is literally taking the same angle every time. So I'm guessing that no matter how... Alright, let's... once... once more. Yeah, no matter what angle I send it in... Ev well, now... That's a weird new situation. Okay, it can actually... Stick to that, but it can't stick to... Okay, it warped through there. Wait. Wait. Ho ho ho. Wait. Is this the same angle? And I'm partially afraid of seeing an angler there. <laughs> Even though it's just a picture of it. I just... Hey, yeah, no, it's the same angle. Hello? Yeah, no. Huh. It's actually... Yeah, no, it's the literal same angle. No matter how... I wonder... Ah, no matter how you cut it, it just always goes out one exit. Fascinating. But, yeah, I think before we begin some... Okay, but way before I go back to the Dark Bramble, just because 
I love this place. Uh, and back to the moon. On the landing cam so that I actually can land it better. Oh, Esker's ship on the planet is an Easter egg. It's the same model from the Alpha of the game. That makes sense. Have it to refill. All untextured stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's been a long time since we came here, but for a refresher, for one, I think this may be like a handprint. I forgot that I'm on the moon, therefore I can easily launch myself, <laughs> but as a refresher, this can get signals from different planets and track them. Like, that's how yeah, it's like the signals of the planet itself, basically. Like, a giant steep will be no more noticeable because you'll hear the storms. And it's also interesting that the signal graphs used by the uh, Parthians aren't capable of detecting, like, the signals from the radiation of the planet and whatnot, or, you know, like this. Also, that's really loud. Right, and of this is... That's Brittle Hollow. And that's the sound of the sun. But, after playing for so long, Black Hole Ambience slaps as a base. Yeah. This is the signal that brought Noma here that can't really easily be tracked. Or can't be easily tracked like this. There's the white hole station. Yeah, it can't lock on. I was wondering if after a while it'd pick up on the sound. Cause just Oh, while it's doing this, I'm wondering. Can I find... That's what I thought. While it's doing that, I don't think I can find the quantum moon. But... I bet once I do that, it may pop up somewhere. Oh, while well, you had it in the eyes, it was in the horizon. You sure. Well, it's some. Well, I guess once I look over the footage again, I'll notice it. Let's 
spooky sounds. Oh. Yeah, unfortunately, it was possible I can't clip the second. Oh. Well. Man. Now that I now know everything that I know about the quantum moon. Can I get some? Thank you, oxygen. Hmm. Alright. And I've already went through that. But yeah, I just want to give this a quick look. Oh, wait. There's one other thing I forgot to check back on Timber Hearth. Or I might have checked it. I am. Not too sure. But not, it's not a terrible idea to try to uh What am I looking for again? I mean, that looks kind of cool. Have I been in there before? No, I think I have. What I'm looking for... Oh, footage being the fucky. What? Interesting, interesting vocabulary. Um, yeah, the fucky. Yeah, no, that, that works. Um, completely distracted. What I was trying to search. Okay, now I remember. There was a geyser I tried going into in Timber Hearth, like one of my first time, one of my first deaths in this game. Where is this place? Also, I love my swick, swick, my sweet stunts. Um, where are you? Village. Why am I so terrible at finding... Well, John, there you are. Here. I remember wanting to. <laughs> to explore this. I believe, or maybe another feature? Because I remember jumping in here, finding an old, what I, okay, what I thought was campfire, but definitely, like, they used to have things down here, though. Nice. I mean, vibing and watching streams and tell, it sounds like a, sounds like plan. Oh no. <laughs> Alright, so, you know, they have some supplies down here, but I guess nothing too interesting. And yeah, that's... you can go all over the damn place with that. Fun Bell Scout. Okay, so I'll just wait here to go back up. 
Okay, yeah, that just launches you back. Oh. Lift off. Alright, well, never mind. I did explore there. Oh, that's the app. That brings you... Oh, okay. Well, now I found a better way to get out. So that's all good. Alright. So, I was hoping for something, some cool stuff, but... I mean, going back to old places still isn't a bad idea, especially since... Ooh, there's Giant's Deep. Ooh. Um, I still need to find a ship. But, I mean... Old Settlement. The Hanging City. Alright. Raises and lowers... Alright, I think we're probably gonna... Maybe, if I didn't spend too much time messing around, try to explore the old settlement and see if there's some text that I missed, and then hit up the... Uh, probably... Yeah, probably hit up the Southern Observatory. <laughs> what? What do you mean I didn't finish Timber Hearth? What what didn't I finish on Timberhearth? There's water flows. What up? I've uh, now I you, I don't know what you're talking about, but sure, I've been through the water flows before. Like I don't know what you're getting on about, but I'll go down the one you mentioned. What do you mean I saw two underwater caves? I've been down that one before. I have absolutely guaranteed I've been through that one before. Yep, that is incredibly familiar. And that's somewhere, but... Yeah, like... That's... One of these is like the sealed one. Both of these are the sealed one or whatever. There's no my writing on the floor. There's no my writing on the floor of one of the caves. What? Fine. If you say so. Well, there goes that. Back where I was? No, I'm somewhere else. Yep, I spent a lot of time faffing about. Also, you said that was. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, I haven't been here. That said, I don't think I'll be able to read it this loop, but I'll try. Hmm, Calais. After closer observation, mining site 2A wouldn't be safe for the native life dwelling in some of this cave's pools, so unfortunately, we'll have to mine one of the other sites. 
Yeah, I don't have no time. There are a few other cave sites that look promising. What about Site 2B? It shares similar formations in strata. <laughs> that sounds promising. Will you and your mentor investigate? If mining 2B proves safe for this native species, we'll move our work there. Site 2B is safe. Kalea says we'll be continuing to monitor our activity and the effects on life here. On the opposite hand, the new one, the species is semi-aquatic and... Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, that's weird. I could have sworn I've... Oh, I guess I went down another cave. Huh. Oh, well. I guess I had to go back to finish reading that. But, no, I know how to get there now, though. And getting there is half the battle. Because I remember going into the, uh, the water being shot everywhere. Yeah, getting launched in the Quantum Grove. Yep. Whoosh. Meow. Hi, East Tigress. How's it going? Oh, wait, yeah. We're going on cave adventures at the moment. Gotta turn on my flashlight. Gotta head down this cave. Did a timing thing. I mean, the pretty cool thing, but but at least if you don't get the timing 100% right, you do cool stuff, like almost get launched off a planet. Okay, Sand Dolphin. Oh wait, I mean with internet Twitch video. Gonna play a catch. Alright, if you're struggling then I hope you have a hope you enjoy catching up. Uh, you can find all the previous streams on YouTube. What? No way. So I have been here. that how well they wouldn't have any Harthians by that point but the evolutionary descendants of the Harthians and then the Nomai just vibing in their three suits all oh, that's amazing proto-Harthians that's cute Yes. 
bubbling's really loud. Um. All right. Like you said, I think it's fine. Thought. Calais. <clears throat> After close observation, minus site two A wouldn't be safe with the native life dwelling in some of the cave's pools. So unfortunately, we'll have to mine on the other sites. On the opposite hand, new life. The species is semi-aquatic and very hardy. The ecosystem here is quite robust, so I believe they'll thrive in the long run. Be cautious near the poles if you visit 2A to meet them. Sad. I was watching them once during a rest, and the hours escaped from me. They're fascinating, and I wonder what their fourth... I wonder what their fourth eye does. They remind me of a subterranean species that my mentor... Melore once told me about, from from when our clan used to travel across the universe. I imagine she would have enjoyed these life forms greatly. And yeah, uh, promising safer than these. Okay, I read this before. The cave sites that looked promising. Uh, site two B is safe. Kalei says we'll continue to monitor our activity here. And Alright, so this has now been read. And now to get ejected. I think. There. Good job. Let's. Let's vibe. Let's just vibe here. This is safe, right? Spinal, right? No, uh, spinal. Who's spinal? I forget who that is. The fish hearthian. Oh! I believe I have, but not going to talk to them again would be a bad idea. Where are they? Five up here. There. And I think they're there. Try to get away from fish and rhyme, fish and rhyme. Seeing it helps me pass the time. Ah, uh, you're leaving the crater? Guess we'll all be a little busier without you to <laughs> around to lend a hand. Big water planet, giant seep, that's where I'd go. Oh, why's that? One time after the rest of the village had left for sleep, it was just the two of us sitting around the campfire. Gabro told me about their first trip to giant seep. They landed the ship safely enough, and the waves, but couldn't see too far down on account of how murky the water was, I guess. Too dark. Gabber wants to see what lay beneath the surface, so decided to travel deeper. He traveled down and down. Suddenly, Gabber couldn't go any farther. I will, just again, just pausing dramatically. Please. As though exercise of will of its own, the water was refusing to let Gabro go down any deeper. It held Gabro back, almost as if it was trying to protect them from something. And then, in the terrible darkness, Gabro saw it. The tentacles of some hideous beast. Ah! <laughs> ah! I mean, that, that's what Gabro said, anyway. Whatever it is, it freaked Gabro out pretty good. Everyone wants to hear about new stories at the village campfire, you know. Make sure you bring back some with you. Alright. So, now knowing what I know about Giant Sea, that makes more sense. Also, I'm going the wrong way. I mean, 
Yeah, I don't think there's a wrong way when you have a jetpack. Well, there is a wrong thing to do. That's not letting this get down. But yeah, I think I know what the tentacled beast is. I think. I think it's the frozen dark bramble seed. And also, yes, the air. I did end up getting the Gone in 60 Seconds achievement. Uh, completely by accident. It was a while back. Get a mine. Yep. Is that it? No, I wish it would have given me the signal that I was missing some information. It normally does for a lot of things, like the Hanging City and the Southern Ar Observatory. But... Autopilot would be a terrible light. Where's the sun? Why am I. Why can't I find the sun? I. It says as she's spinning wildly. Also. Ooh, actually. I have an idea. Interesting. I never identified that signal yet. Um, anyway... That was weird. I mean, out of all the places I could have, uh... got messed up at... Uh, porthole... Autopilot damage. You gotta leave to fix all that. Bonk. Ah, so that's the autopilot. Everything nominal. Everything looks nominal. Let's see Brittle Hollow. <laughs> yep, I got the signal finally, which is nice, but yeah, Brittle Hollow is cool. Now I see my marker. Gotta make sure I lift off from the it. Make sure I don't crash into the moon. Uh, I feel like there is... I am here. Okay. I feel like I am far, uh, far enough away from the sun to, uh, Autopilot there safely enough. I say. Okay, yeah, no, I'm on a different plane from the interloper, so I'm good. I can't. <laughs> God, just remembering all those um, jokes online where it's like your therapist, 
like, oh, X thing isn't real, it can't hurt you, and then the boat's a picture of the thing, it's like... <laughs> like... It is real. Can hurt them. But anyway... Uh, oh, this is gonna be... Not a pain, just... Uh, always a delight. Could probably do some six stunts, six stunts in there, but uh, let's. Uh, don't know. I mean, okay. Let's let's do some six six stunts, sweet flips. I think maybe. I mean, the worst thing that can happen, I get sucked into a black hole. Which, all things considered, isn't the worst thing that could happen. E. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Six stunts. Like landing my shuttle sideways. This is probably surface integrity. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Sixteen eight percent. You know, if it could have been, you know, damaged when I was about to land here, it could have, you know, at least given me the honor of being uh sixty-nine percent. You know, it could have done me the solid. Shovel's currently resting at the quantum moon. <laughs> Did you know if you're a bad pilot, you can artificially lower <laughs> surface integrity? Yay. I could bring it back. But, I mean, no, I'm kind of jumping around a bit. But, like, I mean, like, I'm here. The crossroads. Southern, oh, Southern Ob Observatory. Which is how I move the gravity cannon around the, the white hole. See the shuttle from the... So you don't want to see the shuttle from the quantum moon. What are you talking about? Oh! Oh, I'm just kind of deciding... Yeah, you know, the, the path leads up to the shuttle. But I'm just kind of looking to see... You know, for future reference. Like the southern observatory being, you know, like... That way. Is uh, pretty good to know. So, yeah. Uh, good news. There's no skeletons. Strange news. There's no skeletons. I was absolutely expecting skeletons here. Because, um... Yeah. So... Solanum. I'm here. After watching it wonder the skies for so long, I'm about to stand, for the first time, on the quantum moon. As expected, my shuttle landed at the moon's south pole. I will make the remainder of my journey on foot. Oh, we don't know why the quantum moon always welcomes its visitors at the south pole. Just that, that it, that this is true. As a child, I considered such unknown sinister. Now, though, I understand they bear no ill will. The universe is... And we are. I am ready. Huh. Chip log. 
Can I find that? There you are. of beacon one unknown five hundred thirty meters oh and there's a black hole core you a sun uh Not disappearing. Now it disappeared. Now you warp back to the grav can. Hmm. 530. You know what? I am terrible at aiming these things. Probably because I need more practice. But. What's. Down there, or uh, the Southern Observatory. What is down there? Mm. Ah, gosh darn it. Please, please, can I? Oh, that was a weird visual effect. But being... Nope. out for being uh, annihilated by uh, continents, but I think I know where I want to go. Just gotta make sure I'm pointed at it. I have a bit of English. the signal. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I can believe that this plant this part of the hunk of the planet fell through while I was looking at the signal. Of course I can. I mean, it's me <laughs> and Brittle Hollow. That's how this works. But anyway, thatch, plume, phylax. Oh, plume, phylax and I have determined this a typical shard of rock is the reason objects in this ki uh, grove are Behaving in a quantum manner. The only, the only other object we observe displaying this quantum behavior is the wandering moon. I imagine the moon's behavior and this groves are related. Yeah, that was that bloom. In her note from earlier, Phylex mentioned this strange type of rock isn't found elsewhere on Brittle Hollow. What if it isn't originally from this planet? Hypothesis. This quantum shard is from the wandering quantum moon. Perhaps it is even a small piece of the moon itself. Ooh. Phylax. 
Of note, a unique signal is coming from the shard. Curi curiously, our friend from the water moon sounds the same. I've also heard the same signal that the shard produces calling out from Giant's Deep, Timber Hearth, and the Hourglass Twins. Suppose there are other shards like this one. Huh. Alright. Ah, Surfer's Integrity. Zero. Wait. Wait, no way. This is... Psst, I stuck my head through the hole. Um... This is the top of the Temple of the Eye. Plume. The trees are moving. The trees in this grove wander about freely. This entire plant, or the entire plant, roots and all. This is not normal. Even for this alien planet, I have never seen the, never seen the move. Is that even possible? If anyone else witnesses this disturbing behavior, I implore you, record your observations here. Either these trees are apparent, or my brain must be. But alarmingly, it isn't only the trees. There's other matter in this area, such as that unusual shard of rock moving in some eerie way. That rock is unusual for another reason, too. Too, Thatch. It possesses color and texture I've never seen elsewhere on this planet. Hypothesis, this rock shard presence is significant. We should study it. Could be what is causing all the other nearby objects to also move about this area? Plume is right. The trees do move. I confess, I didn't notice until I've read this, these notes. And yeah. Here are the nerds bring weird quantum stuff. Thanks, trees. What on earth is that? What am I looking at? Oh, giant steep, when there's no light on it. Okay, I thought I was looking at a black hole. There were spiraling stairs, right? Yeah. I was looking for bottom. Let's see. It's probably warped around. Bells, beneath your feet lies the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. If you are preparing to make your first pilgrimage to the quantum moon, descend the steps at the entrance below. The knowledge held within will help you on your journey. Oh, you're supposed to... Head down, okay. It's my ship. It's on the planet, isn't it? Mm. I don't... Mm. Running out of fuel is a very real concern here. Oh, okay, wait up. The music cue is coming up. Telling me that, uh... <laughs> <laughs> it's not gonna be. An issue for long, at least. I remember trying to get in here once and being stuck in hell. Uh. Bonk. Did I. You might want to revisit the tarp in regular times. Yeah. I think it may.
Ah, yes. Shooting. Huh. Hoping to see wherever this would shoot. Oh well. Fuel level. Yeah, they are. Take it. Turn real quick. We've done some science, so he does some archaeology, archaeology, archaeological findings. Or we've made some archaeological archaeological findings. Let's have a marshmallow. I think we deserve it. Also, if you're wondering, um, Jazz, I got the Gone in 60 Seconds achievement uh, legitimately by doing a, a, a little jump and felling over this edge because there's no handrails and it tapers off. I was just trying to dump, jump across. Alright. Um. So, um, Timber Hearth now fully completed. Let's try to find my goal. Let's not crash into things. Alright. I'll just do that. Abort. Uh, pilot around. The, uh, <laughs> the, the, the deadly moon. And this is the Southern Observatory, normally, I believe. No, this is, it is, no way. Let me poke here. Oh. Oh boy. Quantum Moon. The Nomai named Solanum landed a shuttle on the Quantum Moon. Nomai named, uh... Solanum landed her shuttle on Quantum Moon South Pole and prepared to make the rest of the journey on foot. Visitors to the Quantum Moon always arrive at for reasons unknown to the Nomai. Quantum Shard. A strange rock shard that wanders when no one is watching. 
The gnome I determined the shard is the reason objects in the grove behave in a quantum manner. It's actually a piece of quantum moon. It's the same signal as quantum moon. The gnome I detected a quantum signal coming from somewhere on Giant's Deep. That's interesting. I have yet to find that, actually. Hopefully... Okay, this is on the equator, so it's not exactly, uh, safe. Oh, it did... What? Hello? Hello? This is what I was on. Okay, that's why I did it. So uh, I determine it. Okay, this a typical shard of rock is on the moon. Okay, yeah. So I was standing on it, but I wasn't aware of what I was standing on, which is, I mean, okay. In my defense, it was completely dark, and my ship keeps being knocked around. Tree. Poor ship. Let's let's get you. Let's get you. My poor ship. Please. I'm sorry. <laughs> So sorry. Oh no. Oh no. Let's. Um. Don't you want to visit the tower? I mean, I visit the tower. Yeah. Oh, the tower of quantum knowledge. Yeah. Let's go. Ooh. Seventy-nine. It couldn't have done me the solid of being sixty-nine. Disgraceful. Um. <sighs> Entrance to the quantum tower not below ninety. Okay. So they're territory south. I mean. Let's do this. This should be taking me where I want to go. I think. Yeah, totally. <sighs> Here we are, when it's not in um, <laughs> the other side of the solar system. Okay. Stands be welcomed in this place. Above you stands the quantum the tower of quantum knowledge. If you are making your first pilgrimage to the quantum moon, ascend these stairs and obtain the last of the knowledge you need for your journey. And some gravity floor. Oh, the crossroads. Ah, oh, okay, there's no actual alright, 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 alright. Oh. Is it like this normally? Is this part of the puzzle? Why there's so many, uh... Because hmm. there's a lot of places I can shoot my little scout into. Up there. It's almost like there's too much gravity. Huh. Hmm. E. 
terrifying. Um, Am I supposed to wait for this to fall in? That wouldn't be unlikely. Wait. No, that wouldn't hit effect of gravity and the release. Thank you, trees. Thank you, ship, for not being dead. Oh, a little bit. Um. Okay. Tower wandered around. Hey there, tower. Okay. I for a second, the guy's swearing I saw a mural or something. Trees, please stop trying to follow me. Okay, I don't think I have much time, so either I chill down here and wait for this to get dislodged into space, which seems valid. Tower below, south. If you're impatient, I feel like this will take me. Take ship. Act like Bumblebee. Bump, bump, bump. <laughs> um. I can just turn this on. See. You. sucked into the, uh, the old black hole, or white, black hole, white hole. And is that how it, it, it stuck around the black hole? If you can get quicker, this path would take you to the southern observatory. Yeah, and yeah back into the vacuum space yet again. Yeah. I'd have to get here quicker, which... You know what? I can do that. Honestly. That said, I'm wondering if I should... wait here. Oh yeah, you're talking about being impatient and lowering the, uh... Of this place by just bonking my ship into it. Which. I mean, all things considered. I mean, my ship's still alive. At the same time. How. How much would I have to bonk my ship into this place to, uh.
26. speed I, I don't have much uh, faith okay let me put it this way I don't have faith in going high speed and surviving bonk I don't want <laughs> no I no I no I it's fine You know, I busted up my ship and, uh, all I got out of it. Let's repair, Brent, landing camera. Camera. Landing gear. You know, I don't have faith in, uh, blocking my ship. Starboard. now I mean I mean tower shark thirteen percent um Make you a coward if you don't want to crash your ship into a landmass to force it into the black hole at the uh, center of a planet. Here we go. Landing gear. Okay. Stairs. Oh, definitely don't need the stairs. I just would like some light. Doing some incredibly sick stunts. 
stone. Um, have a scroll. Solanum, your arrival here means you've completed your preparations on Giant's Deep and are ready to depart for the Quantum Moon. On your pilgrimage, the Quantum Moon will carry you, just as it's carried me and many in our clan before me, to the moon's sixth and most secret location. You'll be aided in your pilgrimage by the shrine our clan built on the Quantum Moon, but remember, this final rule. To explore the sixth location, the shrine must be on the moon's north pole. Uh oh. Be curious on your journey. Okay. Can I... Can I drop... Can I... Okay. Can I not drop it if there's... <laughs> If you're here to make your first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon, you are almost prepared to set out on this deeply significant journey. Before you do, pause and remember your history. We make this journey not only for ourselves, but also for the honor of the members of our clan who came before us, those who after the crash that brought them to the star system became stranded on Brittle Hollow and on Ember Twin, with no communication between these two groups of survivors. These Nomai looked upward from two different planets and saw the same wandering moon visiting their skies. It was this moon, the Quantum Moon, that kept their curiosity alive during this long period of hardship. After the two divided groups were able to reunite, it became our clan's united goal to find and visit the Quantum Moon. This took time, and many Nomai who dreamed of seeing the Quantum Moon died before we discovered how to make the journey. When you reach the Quantum Moon, recall those Nomai, and carry their curiosity on onward with you. And yeah, that's fine. Here, that's like... Alright, let's... Let's vibe. Thanks, Trees. Alright, so... Apparently, Quantum Moon is vibing at... Timber Hearth. There's the twins. There's the signal in the secret location. Dark Bramble. Giant Steep. Brittle Hollow. Yeah. One, two, three, er, three, four, five. Then, yeah, the six. Oof. 
Oh yeah, the quantum... If you're having trouble finding the communication stone in here, I can tell you where the other side is at. You know what? Uh, it sounds like we may not have enough time. Okay, that's where the scout is. And I'm wondering if the stone got dislar dislarged, dislodged while, uh... That's... <sighs> Alright, not... Um, I guess I'll come back here. And if I can't find out on my own, I'll take your off take you up on your offer if it's in some weird crevice or something that's like hard to notice. Because that may be the case. Oxygen is repellent. It is not good. Well. Yep. Challenge mode. Get your ship inside and fly it upside down to reach the upstairs portion. I don't know if that's possible. That'd be interesting. And yeah, I think why I couldn't reach... I know, like... I don't know if I was missing something because, uh... Part of the landmass was still stuck in the white hole. I mean, that might have done something. science marshmallows. Let's, uh, keep on investigating. <coughs> oh. The Nomine built a shrine on the quantum moon to aid in the pilgrimage to its sixth location. Remember this final role. To explore the sixth location, the shrine must be on the moon's north pole. The pilgrimage to the quantum moon was a deeply significant journey for the Nomai. Uh, yeah, it became the United goal. The quantum moon is sometimes the unknown sixth location. Many Nomai went on the pilgrimage, during which the quantum moon carried them to its sixth and most secret location. To explore the sixth location, the shrine on the quantum moon must be on the north moon's pole. The Nomai built a shrine on the quantum moon to aid. Yeah, okay. And the gravity can't shuttle from the quantum moon. Okay. <coughs> do I keep messing around here, or do I go to the southern observatory? Both sound like good options. Try to lift off while you're logged on to a, uh, an 
astral body. You do some weird... Do some weird stuff. Awesome. Yeah, I think... Interesting that they re recreated the Quantum Moon Locator. That is interesting. Because they have access to the other Quantum Moon Locators, but... They just rebuilt it. Um, what's that? They yeah, had crash site. Ember Twin too hot. Oh yeah, Ember Twin, it was too hot. Too hot to handle. Um, okay. I mean, I mean, I mean. Oh yeah. Um, the idea of getting to the tower fast. Yeah. If I want to keep poking the tower of quantum knowledge, I have to get to it. And let's go. Uh, no, my just need to shave their fur off. As far as we can tell, sure can handle it. I mean, then again, Chur is on the North Pole. I don't know. Maybe Chur is also. Oh yeah, we're talking about uh, Southern Observatory. We can make it here fast enough. Wait. Follow that path <laughs> or not, yeah. Uh, scout. Hey. Hmm. I think I have a night. Okay. I mean. silly, but, I mean, what's the worst that can happen? I get back here. Okay. That may be my mark. I think. Well, back here. Should should have landed on the other grab rings. I should have. I really should have. Southern Observatory. Five hundred something. Uh, man, this is the only path. Um, it's like the harness, the Majora's Mask, Song of Healing. Okay, this looks pretty solid. And it falls. Uh, 
I'm oh, I'm getting to the hole. Okay, this is bizarre. I think that's where I wanna end up going. Yeah, okay, I think what happened was that after kind of things started falling down, it's not perfectly aligned. So I just need to do some uh, jetpack work. Uh, hmm. How? Hmm. Have crystals on the wall. Oh, there they are. Ooh. Also, I hope I okay, some trees. Oh yeah, you're seeing a few seconds behind me. Okay, I've read this one before, and it's an out sink. Possible for the cannon about to sink even partially below the current, but our sink straight to the core. outside. Huh? I read it before. Let's start. I'm here. I did it. I put the shape. 
ship down safely. Okay, yeah, I did do this. Um, in that the ship went down, and I didn't sustain bodily harm. A few minor repairs, and it's like the ship never even hit those rocks. One of my better attempts, Feldspar would barely have laughed at me. I bet. Um, uh, that's the good news. The bad news. I, um, have found a way inside the structure. The door is broken, and I know I'm not great at exploring, but I think I would have to find a different entrance by now if there was one. Probably. Um, I, I can't get inside from here, but I know there are paths below the surface. I'm going to head north to the ruins on the equator to try to find a way down. Okay, yeah, so I did read that one. And things had to load in. That's fine. Oh, it came in. Okay. Right. Hemlo. Three. Three little grooves. Conoy. Cassava's construction yard has been using the cyclones cyclones on Giant's Deep to lift orbital probe cannon parts into orbit, but one component was pushed in, was pushed past the current that usually prevents anything from sinking. Spire and I are crafting a model to determine why this happened. An update, it's now clear there are two different types of cyclone. Most cyclones on Giant Deep rotate clockwise. There are the cyclones Cassava tip. These are the cyclones Cassava typically uses to send components into orbit. There also exists a rarer type of cyclone that spins the opposite direction and pushes objects beneath the waters and below the current. Oh, my gratitude, Spire. Kanoi is showing me your handiwork, and I'm intrigued by this secondary type of cyclone, but why was it really necessary to build a model to tell me that? The model will be useful as we continue monitoring Giant Deep. Also, I very much wanted to make a model. Nerds. Love these dudes. Yes. Clockwise. Unclockwise. I figured it had to do with the cyclones, but having a, you know, direct answer is, uh, great. And also, it wasn't like coming here was uh, a free freebie anyway. Didn't like that. What have we learned thus far in our search for the Eye of the Universe? Suppose the Eye doesn't wish to be found. Kasava, how can you suggest that? The Eye signal called out to us, called out to summon us to the, solar, to the star system. I'm aware. I grew up hearing the Eye story, yet we're no closer to finding it than you were when you first arrived here. Those of, the, those of us on the vessel originally followed the eye signal to the star system, system, but we were unable to warp to the eye itself. The locator we've built on the Alter Rock and the new, more sensitive locator we built here were both unable to detect any trace of the eye signal. Oh. 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 Unable to detect any trace. Previt, or Plume Previt, Avens. Hypothesis. The eye has stopped emitting the signal. 
Mallow. Based on our knowledge of the quantum moon, we believe the eye is in orbit around the star system sun. This would mean the eye is located within a finite, I bet, enormous range. The eye. I mean, yeah, that that's a potentially giant. as a bad one. Alright, so the eye of the universe and the quantum moon aren't the one and the same, but they are definitely related. the effort to make it modeled after Dark Realm. The Eye is the solar system's seventh planet, and we cannot find it. Yep. Well, I mean... Oh. Should our methods change as we continue the search for the eye of the universe? Hello. We know what the eye looks like, thanks to the quantum moon. So what if we try to find the eye visually instead? Let us send out a let us send out a probe. Oh. Avens, we need to build a probe launching mechanism to cover these long distances quickly. A cannon in orbit around a celestial body would circumvent the need to escape uh, gravity's pull. Okay. Kasaba. Giant's Deep would be a great would be a good choice. It's furthest from the sun, so it would provide the best angles for launch. It's moonless except when the quantum moon's visiting. Yes, let's build the quant the cannon in orbit around Giant's Deep. Privet. We couldn't find the eye signal using two different devices built for this exact purpose. We should discontinue the search method. Malad's idea is clever, but we have no idea where the eye is in relation to here. The probability of la launching a probe in the correct direction would be absurdly small. I believe I have a solution for that problem. Have you spoken with Rami and Pry about the technology they're developing? <laughs> the mad lads. So that's why... I mean... So that's why they developed what they did at the... So that's why they developed... Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm above the cycle models, that makes sense. Hey, there's... And the eye... Oh! I thought it wasn't showing anything, but no, each one is showing... the eye of the universe. And saying that now makes me want to reference... a, visual, a certain visual novel, now that I mention it. But I don't know if you've seen it, so that'd be, uh, spoilers. Yep. Cave Shard. Hmm. The 
Dextrous Beacon. Yeah, okay, that, that makes sense why the Distress Beacon is signaling off from there, because it, there's one still there. And there's a fire and trees growing in Dark Bramble. Can't wait until we can find Feldspar. <sighs> but, yeah. I guess let's try to get back to the ship. Also, is there a shortcut to get back here fast? I don't think so. Then again, I mean, I basically found the shortcut by just, uh... Oh no, well... No, the Tower of Quantum Knowledge is on the equator. So, okay, yeah, no, I found it. Do we want to fo- Um, let me- give me a second to read what you wrote down. Do we want to focus on finding Tower of Quantum Knowledge Communication Stone, or would you like to know it's other location for ease of movement, uh, like awaiting. Hmm. Maybe. Oh, hey, ship. Wait. How did my ship get here? Oh, wait, no, this isn't my ship. Yeah. Yes. Two thrusters. A whole bunch of supplies. Yep, yeah, he has the landing camera. Our ship is 26... 27 kilometers away from us. Well... Well... Yeah! Yeah, double the oxygen and fuel. Man. Yeah, okay. Yeah, these would be oxygen and fuel tanks. Can't take it for a joyride. <laughs> Much as I'd want to, since I'm kind of stuck here. Um. Yeah, I can't just. Uh, oh, double the oxygen, quadruple the fuel. Yeah. Uh, too bad I can't take any f Okay. I f believe Feldspar's little oxygen and fuel station refill is at the North Pole. I don't know if I can walk to the North Pole anymore. I don't know if that's physically possible. Mm. Huh, I mean... You could eat yourself in... No, I... Let's eat myself in the black hole. Let's try to not... I think 
the end of this loop. I'm gonna call it, I think, because, you know, we've made some... Oh my, I, I'll check my, my notes, but yeah. But after that, I think this was a pretty good stream. No, and yeah, I believe I believe you on uh, the communication stone being really hard to find in the uh, T O Q K. <laughs> oh, hey, Scout. We'll get a marshmallow next time, but let's check the ship logs, because that usually helps me remember for next time of what I actually should point myself towards. Actually, uh, first, how, many, how much fuel do I have? I'm guessing orange is fuel, green is oxygen. Yeah. One, two... Yeah, it appears I have Yeah. Two fuel to one tank of oxygen. Two oxygen, four fuel. Oh. Oh yeah. To my one oxygen, two fuel. Oh. Alright, so, construction yard, tornado simulation, most cyclones, yeah, rotate clockwise, and I think it's a rare type of cyclone that spins the opposite direction and pushes objects beneath the waters. The new, more sensitive locator know my belt, and this observatory was unable to detect any trace of the eye signal. But. They were able to get there with the quantum moon, though. Which is interesting. Eventually, at least. Maybe. Well. Because, yeah, they were able to visit the seventh location. Anyway, based on their knowledge of the quantum moon, the Nomai believe the eye is in a distant orbit around the sun. The Nomai decided to stop searching for the eye signal and instead look for it visibly by sending out a deep space probe. There were concerns of, that the probability of launching a probe in the correct direction would be absurdly small. Inside the seed. Wait, what? Dark Bramble Seed. It ends up somewhere in the Dark Bramble. Yeah, it does. Oh, that one's green. Hmm. I mean, it doesn't connect so far with any of this, but yeah. And... I still need to go back here and take a better look. And there is, yeah, the seed inside of, uh... Yeah. Alright, wait, with that... All I found... Pantries... O2... 
potions deaths. Um, quantum signal. Oh yeah, there's a quantum signal coming from somewhere on Giant Steep. So, wow. Launch module. Hanging City. Oh yeah, I still haven't been there. Northern Glacier. Yeah, Gravity Cannon. Yep, so apparently the inside of the seed is linked to the Orbital Probe Cannon. I believe it. I, yeah, because, you know, uh, rumor mode. You know, like this, this is just like, oh, this is important, but not connected to one of the mysteries, but this is Hanging City, Hollow's, ah, uh, I still had to go to Hollow's Lantern. Hate that. There's not a warp to it. Yeah, I guess I just had to land. <laughs> I have to do, as the kids say, get good. Ugh. Just uh, land on the fucking volcano moon as it shoots uh, gob <laughs> gob gobble gobbles gobbles of uh, lava at me or magma. One of the two. <sighs> but yeah, next time we're gonna do more of this. Definitely, maybe some of this. <laughs> Not maybe, because I didn't really do too many. Uh, six stunts here in my ship this stream. Well, I mean, I got actually landed here without having to use the uh, the uh, autopilot, but yeah, I've been getting better at that, especially dealing with the uh, giant's deep and other things. Goblins of lava. <laughs> but, no, I, yeah. Um, thanks for watching the stream, and yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna try doing a sign off. It is nuts. Um, but yeah, you can find me at uh, my link tree, uh, link tr.ee slash kitty get harder to find, you know, all the links that include, you know, obviously the Switch, Twitter, YouTube, go dash fee. It should just be called Kofi. And, you know, more. And, uh, yeah. I also sometimes uh, guest on a podcast called Strangers Fiction, and that's always a blast. But thanks for watching, and yeah, this is fun. Can't wait to do more of this. God, I, I'm almost tempted to say like and subscribe, but that, that feels like I'm pushing it. But yeah, ciao.